I receive a lot of questions from users on Google accounts and people who are confused about a Google account versus a Gmail account, and those aren't necessarily the same thing. If you have a Gmail address that does serve as a Google account that you can use to access other, you know, all services that Google provides, you can also have a Google account that's tied to your business email address. So if you come to accounts.google.com or just search your or just Google Google accounts and you'll get to the screen eventually and you come down here and choose create an account. When you go to create an account, it's you'll see the default here is for you to choose a username with at gmail.com. And so this is the same step that you would go through if you're creating a Gmail account for the first time. You also have the option here, I prefer to use my current email address. And this is where you can use a business email address. So if I come here and I say I prefer to use my current email address, and I it'll want to do a verification. So there is going to be a verification step to make sure that you really are the owner. And if I say Tina at 360internetstrategy.com, I'm not going to go through the whole steps because I already have a Google account with 360 Internet Strategy, but this is the steps that you go through in order to finish the sign-up process. You know, name, last name, password, all the other fields that you would expect. And then when you go ahead to next step and you keep walking through, what you're then doing is you're tying this email address, in my case, teen at 360internetstrategy.com, to a Google account. So if somebody has a Google document that they share with me, they can share it to this 360 email address and I can log in using this email address and my new password in order to access it. Now if you have multiple Google accounts, like for example in my case I have um, several Gmail accounts and I also have this Google account with my business address, if somebody sends me a document to and they share it out to 360 internet strategy, but I'm logged in as one of my other Gmail accounts, I'm not going to be able to access the document. So you want to make sure that people share, you know, their documents or anything that they're inviting to do with you on Google with the email address that you want to use. Um, if it's not the address that you want to use, you can just simply ask them to send you a new invitation to the address that you use regularly. So it's very simple. Again, you'd come and you do create a Google account and you can go ahead and claim a Gmail address or you can go ahead and instead if you can saying I want the Gmail address, you can say I prefer to use my current email address and set that up.